And by the way, during that drill, crews had to treat almost 140 patients altogether, suffering from everything from broken limbs to massive bleeding. Federal aviation regulations do require the airport to conduct a full-scale drill every three years. A local teenager who beat and tortured a disabled woman will now spend the majority of her life behind bars. News 5's Karen Johnson was at the sentencing for our number four pick. Karen? And Curtis Cheyenne Blanton will be spending the next 44 years behind bars. Judge Nastoff called what she did senseless and violent. Last February, Blanton and her boyfriend Joseph Nagel broke into 18-year-old Ashley Clark's home in Hanover Township. The pair woke Clark up, then proceeded to beat and torture her for nine and a half hours. They punched her repeatedly, hit her head over the head with a vase, bound and gag Clark as she pleaded with them to stop. They then shaved her hair, her eyebrows, and cut up her prom dress. Although Blanton confessed to her crimes, Judge Nastov said he believed she is incapable of remorse. Because of what she did, Blanton won't be getting out of jail until she's 61 years old. Ashley Clark's mother broke down in tears when the judge read the sentence. It was a bittersweet moment for her. Just a few minutes before, she explained how painful this has all been. In little pieces all over your home. And just imagine what she had to go through that horrible day. It's just, a, just about more than a mother can take. This has been probably one of the worst experiences in our life, including the death of my father and grandparents. I've been taught to always forgive people, but I've yet been able to do that because I don't feel this is a mistake, but rather an act of cruel, malicious violence. Blanton's partner in crime, her boyfriend Joseph Nagel, has already pleaded guilty. He will be sentenced on October 14th. Blanton did have an opportunity to speak today. She did not say much, just I'm not sure why I did it. I apologize. Live in Butler County, Karen Johnson, News 5.